Now, what frightens me is this has wholesale invaded the church. And it's come into the church primarily through the charismatic movement, where people are creating assumed illusory reality out of their own imaginations, unrelated to fact. No doubt there was stuff like this floating around in Peter's time. No doubt Peter was writing to churches as he penned this letter who were dealing with some of this kind of belief that you could transcend the natural, you could transcend objectivity, you could surpass normal understanding. Listen to me very carefully. Christianity is not mystical. Christianity is totally and utterly and completely and fully contrary to anything and everything that is mystical. Contrary to believing in imaginary feelings, Christianity believes in objective, historical, revealed, actual, rational truth from God. That must be understood. The mystic, he rejects reason for experience, and the line between truth and lies is erased. So the mystic reads the Bible, and that's truth, and has an experience, and that's truth, and truth and lies overlap. The basic lie of mysticism is that my inner feelings tell me the truth about what is. That is not true. My inner feelings do not tell me the truth about reality. The lie of mysticism is my experience, self-interpreted, gives the truth about reality. That's not true. That's not so. What is really appalling about this is that it's in the church. And all of a sudden, Christianity, instead of being objective, historical, revealed, actual, rational truth from God, is literally a mishmash of revealed truth and intuition and experience. The contemporary charismatic movement is full of this kind of stuff. People say, well, the Lord showed me in my heart that this will not happen. Oh, that has nothing to do with whether it will happen or not. The Lord showed me in my heart that that won't happen. Oh, that has nothing to do with it. Now, those are mild forms. A stronger form is what is commonly called positive confession. We talked about Kenneth Hagin, Kenneth Copeland, Frederick Price, Robert Tilton, a number of people like that, Paul Crouch, Oral Roberts, those kinds of people who say if you verbalize it and if you say it and if your mind conjures it up and you positively affirm it, you will create it. That is sub-Christian mysticism, not Christianity. Another form of it that's come recently is called visualization. Visualization. The Reformation gave people back their minds. The Roman Catholic Church during the Dark Ages became very mystical. The Reformation gave people back their minds. The Reformation swept away superstition. The Reformation abolished mysticism and reestablished rational thinking. And the new charismatic movement is bringing back the confusion and the bondage and the anti-intellectual non-rationalism of mysticism. Jonathan Edwards once wrote, quote, beware of living your life by impressions, end quote. And that is precisely what such charismania advocates. 